This is Pastor Ken Smith, and you're watching Transforming Lives. When you trust in Jesus Christ to become your Savior, you not only have Him as a Savior, but you also have Him as your Lord and as the ruler of your life, your Master. In fact, what we have done in the past is we thought we were living our own lives, that we were the ruler of our own kingdoms before we came into a relationship with Jesus. But in fact, we had Satan ruling our life in disguise. You know, we call ourselves Christians, but we need to remember if we are Christians and we are following Christ, then we need to be obedient to what his call is. In the Gospel of Luke, chapter 6, verse 46, listen to this text. Why do you call me Lord, Lord, and you do not do what I tell you? Also, we know in 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 19 and 20, says, Do you not know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit within you, whom you have from God? You are not your own, for you were bought with a price, so glorify God in your body. And finally, in Matthew chapter 6, verse 33, it says, But seek ye first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, and all of these things will be added unto you. You see, the idea is our priorities change whenever Christ becomes the Lord of our life. The idea is that our obedience, not to the world, but to our Savior Jesus changes. And then finally, the idea of a new ownership. We are not our own. We belong to Jesus. So next time that you consider being a follower of Christ, understand it's more than just wearing the title of Christian. It's actually being obedient and being what he calls us to be. And that is being a follower to the very end. He will never leave us nor forsake us, and we should be with him when he calls our name. Thank you for watching Transforming Lives.